Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's, Let's go. go. Hello, I'm Lynette. And I'm Patrick. And we are co-founders of Vertical, Vertical Connections, Connections Inc. Inc. Hello, hello. So good to see you all again. Yes, welcome. And thank you for being here today. We just wanted to talk a little bit about the path to wealth. Mm, we are all commanded, directed to be wise. How do I know this? Mm. It is in the Bible. Absolutely. I heard it describe the basic instructions before leaving earth. Ooh. Mm -hmm, wow. Mm -hmm. People who are wise know how to accumulate wealth. Right. All right. Foolish people, on the other hand, know how to spend it up. Ooh. Make um, it poof. Mm -hmm. mm, just like. <laughs> Smoke in the wind. <laughs> we won't go with the other one that we've used in the past. But it's not our goal in life to get up, go to work, get paid, pay my bills, go to bed, repeat. repeat. Not a goal. We really need to focus on the part where we were talking about accumulating wealth by making our money work for us. Mm -hmm. And the only way to do that is to get out of the race, the race that just continues to spin around. You know how the cars do. They just keep going and going and going. And that gets tiring. And for us, we got tired. There's even times people call that the rat race. Mm -hmm. And if you can get out of the rat race, you're going to be better off. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is you have this one truth. And that truth is that singular scenario mm -hmm. of continually repeating the same thing over and over and then wondering where our money went at the end of the week or the month and looking forward to payday right oh, only because we ran out of pay mm -hmm. and that's gotta stop this is frustrating it is so to do this we need to continue to learn and collect grow. more truth right collect more truth as we're learning and growing that helps all right absolutely <laughs> Good. <laughs> so to do this um, studying. Ooh, that has to be our main goal. That is what we strive for is the practice of studying. Mm -hmm. Studying what we don't know, getting rid of the things that we don't know, filling them with things that we do know in order for us to propel forward. And that way then we can hopefully strive for our potential growth mm -hmm. and our potential knowledge because that gap is so big between what we already know and what we potentially can know. Yes. This is done by listening, reading, mm -hmm. and discovering. Oh my goodness. When we're outside, we're discovering. You're living life. You know, you don't spend your life in school. You just spend yeah. your life in, in a book, uh, doing exactly what you're told to do, you know. Kind That's, of that ends up being short-term memory. What we oh, do is okay. we end up memorizing something, mm -hmm for application, maybe on a quiz or a test. But then all of a sudden, I remember when we were teaching, we would go on to the next topic. I remember in school, I'm like, I need help. I, 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 well, this is me when I was small. I, 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 nope, we're moving on. <laughs> yes, wasn't that the truth? And so then we don't have a chance to master it. Mm. And when we say master, we're talking about being able to do something in a way that it is almost subconscious. In mm. other words, it becomes automatic to us. Likewise, the reason for gathering truths, multiple truths, multiple things that we know are fact, is because we have to be able to identify when people are not telling us the truth. Right, right, right. I'm thinking of a challenge. Okay. Right? So I am not a swimmer. I'm not an expert at it at all. But I'm, when I'm watching them, I'm like, goodness gracious, they have practice and studied and put time in yeah. and i know when i get in a pool it has to be clear i need to be able to see the bottom <laughs> of it and i need to see the other mm -hmm. end so if i'm challenged to swim to the other end my goal is just to get to the end i'm not mm -hmm. trying to work on nothing else right. now as a person who's trying to learn how to get better i would learn how my strokes are to be done my timing my breathing and you all who are swimmers know all the other details that go with that. Right. <laughs> but that swim is not just to get to the other end, but learning how to do that in a way that's going to propel you to take another step further into an even a bigger pool. 
Well, I think also then you want to be able to build your endurance so that you can do it for a longer amount of time All right. and more proficiently. Because once you're able to do that, then you're going to be more masterful at the art of swimming. Yes. But I think of when I'm think, looking at ways that I'm going to master a skill, I want to do that like when I go to the gas pump. We've got all these different options mm -hmm. for which fuel to put into our car. And we have to make that decision. But hopefully it's one where, oh, I think I'm going to pick the green pump because it's the pretty one. Uh oh! Please don't do that. That is the diesel fuel. All right. Diesel does not go into a gas tank. Okay. And we shouldn't have to be, think about it. We shouldn't have to make that something where we sit and actually spend energy on. Oh, I wonder if I should put that in my car. So that's not the time to color choose. No. Multiple choice. No. You got to have some knowledge, you some information, do. some truths. Just like if you're going to pick E85, you better make sure your car runs on it. Otherwise, it's going to be a short trip. Oh. <laughs> yes, indeed. But we want to make sure that we're continually striving, continually practicing, and continually looking for ways to make ourselves grow. So that way we can apply that in our lives, especially with our finances. Absolutely. So... Uh, applying that wisdom with our finances, making sure we're using our money to grow, multiplying it. Yes. And by practicing, we are preparing. We're preparing mm -hmm. for opportunity. Absolutely. We don't know when it might come mm -hmm. or how many times it'll come. But I know that if I continually prepare and use our time wisely, that when that opportunity comes, when the East and West Road meet the north and south, and the two intersect with one another, we'll be ready for that opportunity. And we'll answer the call. And if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go back and see it. But you don't want to miss the call. And it's just like when I was a little kid growing up on the farm, we had to ride the rural school bus. And the bus would come at a certain time. And if you weren't out there ready to go, they might give a honk. If you were up late, first of all, you're going to get in trouble by mom. But then after that, if you miss the bus and they back out and leave, it's not like the city transit bus where it's on that circuit and it'll come back by every hour or so. You might end up being late to wherever you're going, but you're still going to get there. When you're riding a school bus and you live out in the country, if you miss that bus, it doesn't come back to your house until after school. Mm -hmm. And if you're not on the bus, it doesn't even show up then. So you have to be prepared for the opportunity and get on the bus when the bus arrives. I did not have the opportunity to ride the bus. We walked and oh. it felt like we walked and we walked. And you know, here in the Midwest, when it gets cold and you have to walk, that walk seems real long. So, Does it now? So I think you're pretty, um, that's pretty nice that you got to ride the bus. Sure. Hope we sat on it, it for an hour, probably about the same time oh. of, amount of time that you walk. Hmm. <laughs> Walking, at least you got energy. And exercise. exercise. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <laughs> so make sure that you are prepared. We just wanted to end with Proverbs 10.4. Mm. We know that this is a day that we're gen generally talking about business, but we want to show you how we apply the scripture to this lesson. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned earlier, biblical um, basic instructions before leaving earth, Bible. So mm -hmm. he wrote it for us so that we, we can meet these needs that he has provided, um, answering our assignment correctly. You know, let's see, Prover Proverbs 10, 4. A slack hand causes poverty, mm -hmm. but the hand of the diligent makes rich. You don't have to be a Christian to believe that. It's no, truth. Absolutely. So we want to be diligent and make ourselves better. Mm -hmm. Because that is truly all God is looking for, is that we are actively progressing and making ourselves better. And when we're doing that in our personal lives, it'll carry over into our business lives or into our parenting lives. Mm -hmm. They were able to serve each other a lot better when we are well informed. So make sure you get on that path. 
Are you ready? Are you ready? Absolutely. Let's, Let's go. go. See you next time. Bye.